What's up, Vanguard people? It's Zach Zach here. I got a very special deck profile for you guys. This deck profile comes straight from New York Regionals in Albany. And I have a very special guest. Um, Human Entity 4, a.k.a. Spencer Oliveira. And he's going to give us Lattice the Tyrant build. Yeah, this build should have been in top 8, but I lost due to a technicality against Dungeon World. They forgot to uh, add the life for the uh, shield thing, and they gave it to him anyway, even though he hit 0. So, oh well. Shit happens. Anywho, so, our buddy is the beautiful Lattice the Tyrant, who's going to start off our deck. This is Wild Dragons. There's no screaming, as Warlike in would mention. Um, Basically, he is a 736 that you uh, pay to gauge and ditch a wild dragon to negate a spell, or pay to life and ditch a wild dragon to keep him alive. So you basically sit on him all game and punch them really hard in the face with double attack. Onto our size twos, we have four silver dragon um, Aglid. He's a 734 with lifelink. Basically, just big numbers. Made the deck that you basically just punch them in the face with big numbers. Three Ice Dragon, uh, Canola Isle, or whoever you say him, he's a 632, generic. And the last two is a uh, Hand Trap, 334, um, Ice Dragon, Emperor Glacius. You ditch him when your grade three is being attacked, and you pay one life to negate the attack. On the size one, we basically just play a whole bunch of Wild Dragons to discard fodder for our Lattice. This is a Blue Dragon Thunderhorn. He's a 5-3-2, pay one gauge, and he has lifelink one. So 5-3 for a size one is never bad. For Diaz, 3-2-2, um, two, two, Wild Dragon. It's more fodder. Yeah, fodder. It's all fodder. Three Feather Dragon, Tawar, 4-1-4. Four, four. And last size one. To the cute little kitty dragon for Boca. When you have your size three out, you ditch him to gauge two. Now, we mostly play spells, and perhaps the most broken spell in Ancient World so good. is Dragon Emperor Legend. You play it. There's no downside. You gain a life. You gauge one, and you draw one. All great things and that the deck needs. Well, it's a turn, but who cares? Oh yeah, one at a time. But still, we play. Three Dragon Dreams, which gives you plus three life, because sometimes it takes you a while to get your Lattice combos off, as well as a lot of cards in the deck cost you two life, because that's just how Ancient World works. Including Lattice himself. Three Rise and Fall. You pay two life to gauge four, so it gives you the gauge to negate spells with Lattice, as well as many other shots. Three Bull Dragon. Bull Dragon is basically like our Drago energy, so it helps us keep our Lattice alive without having to use his ability, as well as all our other Wild Dragons. Perhaps the most broken card for Wrath Trigger. Wrath Trigger is like the $10 promo that's ridiculous, and it says that you pay one gauge and pay one life, your monster lives and it has counterattack for the turn. So, if you're going to blow up my Lattice, I use this. It's cheaper than the regular alternative to keep me alive, and I have counterattack for the turn, so if I just want to use his ability later, I still have counterattack, so I've basically blown up half your field in the turn I use Wrath Trigger if I use it right. Wrath Trigger, OP, it wins games. We also need Draw, which is why we have Divine Dragon Creation, pay two life, draw two, helps you fetch the Lattice, and in an emergency, we play two Buddy Help to also fetch you that Lattice when you're sitting there and you're about to lose. Last but not least, the Impact, you pay um, three gauge to deal four when the field's empty. I love doing this first turn. You swing with Lattice and you hit them, and then they have three life left for the rest of the game. So, that won me one of my games. But uh, that's the deck profile, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, go Lattice. <laughs> go Lattice indeed. Thanks for watching, Vanguard people.